Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson, and we're going to continue our review for the grade 8 final exam. So this is our part 3 of the 2015-16 to 16 series. So remember, if you need help with your homework, there's dial a teacher homework helpline at 212-777-3380 from Monday to Fridays, I'm sorry, Monday to Thursdays from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Remember to watch our show Math Time on Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cable Vision Channel 15. You can also check out our videos on YouTube. My channel name is Dan Robinson. Take a look at our latest release, PKMS Math Prep 16. It's a very good movie. I think you'll like it. You can tweet me at DRobbins, DRobMath1. So give me a tweet, let me know how I'm doing, and what I can do to improve my videos. Okay, here's our first question. This system of linear equations, 3x plus 6y equal 12, and 12x plus 24y equal 48, has how many solutions? All right, so we're trying to figure out how many solutions it has, so let's write down this out here so what do we got let's get a color so we got two equations we got 3x plus 6y equal 12 and underneath that I'm going to write 12x plus 24y equals 48 now I can't help notice that 12 and 3 is kind of related because if I multiplied this by 4 I would get 12 let's see if that holds true 4 times 6 is 24 and 4 times so these are the same equations if I multiplied the top by 4 so if I multiply this top equation by 4 distribute I'll get 12x multiply this by 4 I get plus 24y. Oh, let's erase that little mistake. So I got 24y. Get my red pen back. 24y. And multiply the 4 times the 12. That'll equal 48. And that's the same equation as this one down here. So when you have the same equation, you're just really graphing when you want to graph it. You're going to get the same x's and y's for both equations. So since uh, it's the same equation, these are the same x's, you have an infinite number of x's and an infinite number of y's. So I'm going to go with choice C because it's the same equation. It's going to produce the same slope and the same y-intercept, so it's the same equation. So I'm going to go with choice letter C. And there you have it. All right, let's move on. What is the solution to 4 times 3x minus 1 minus 3x equals 3 times 3x minus 5 plus 30? All right, so multiple choice. So let's get busy in doing this question. So we got to distribute on this side 4 times 3x. That'll give you 12, and don't forget the x. And 4 times a minus 1 will give you a minus 4. And bring this down. That gives you a minus 3x on this side. And now let's go to this side, do our distribution. 3 times 3x, or 3 times 3, gives you the 9, and don't forget the x. 3 times minus 5 will give you minus 15. And we have to bring this down, the plus 30. And now let's simplify even a little bit more. So we got a 12x here. And I'm going to bring this minus 3x over here, just moving things around a little bit and that when I combine that that'll give me 12 minus x minus 3x will give me 9x and 
Don't forget you got a minus four there, so bring that minus four back. So minus four on this side. So this side we have nine X, and I'll put the minus four here as well. We have nine X minus four, all right? Now here we got nine X, and we have a minus 15 plus a 30. Well, the signs are different, so you cannot add them. You have to subtract. 30 minus 15, it'll give me 15. Choose the sign of 30, that'll give me a plus or a positive 30. And I have 9x that I gotta bring down. So on this side, I have 9x plus 15. And if you're sure under wondering where I got the 15 from, I cannot add these. I did subtract and I got 15. Choose the sign of the 30 because it's a larger digit. So that's why it's plus. Now, uh, we have to solve for x. So let's uh, bring all our x's to one side. Do a little transposition here. Minus 9x, minus 9x. This will cancel out, leaving me with a negative 4. And I noticed this canceled out because I brought it over to the other side, leaving me with a positive 15. Now, my x is canceled out, and that's strange because usually we solve for x equal to something. But the x is canceled out here. So we have negative 4 is equal to positive 15. Well, that cannot be true because they're different numbers. So that's definitely not equal. So since they are not equal to each other, there is no solution to this equation. So this is a problem where we run into there is no solution. So this is one of those strange problems that we talked about earlier. So I'm going to go with choice D. So let's go get choice D and see if that's what we got. Choice D is correct. So hopefully you understood that just by doing a distribution here and solving for X. But we notice the x is canceled out, so leaving us with negative 4 equal positive 15, and we know they're not equal, so that's why it's no solution. So check your understanding, see how it's going so far. If you understand, great. If you don't, check your answers and write down your questions, and we'll be, be sure to answer them in the morning. All right, here's one multiply and leave in scientific notation form. All right, we got 5.2 times... 10 to the 4th power times 3.1 times 10 to the 6th power. Well, if you remember in my video earlier, I had scientific notation. What we did was we took our terms and just did a little reassociating. We took the coefficients, which are the first numbers, and put them in parentheses and multiplied those two together. Then we took the second term, which was the base, and multiply those together by remembering that if the bases are the same, we're supposed to add the exponents. So we'll have 10 plus 10 to the 4th power plus 10 to the 6th power exponent we're adding. That'll give us 10 to the 10th power. So, so far we know our answer is 10 to the 10th power. Now we got to multiply the first part, the coefficient. So let's do a little multiplication here. 5.2 times 3.1. We'll just make believe it's 52 and 31. So let's multiply. So let's get a different color. So 2 times 1, 2. 5 times 1, 5. 3 times 2. 6 and 5 times 3, 15. So we get 2, 11, carry the 1, 6, carry, and 1 down. So there are two numbers behind the decimal point up here. So we got two numbers, one here and one here. So that means there have to be a total of two numbers behind the decimal point down here. So our answer is going to be 16.12. And the other half, that's uh, combined with our other half 
of 10 to the 10th power. So that would be our answer, but they said put it in scientific notation form, which means the first term has to be between 1 and 10. Now, since this is in between 1 and 10, what we'll do is we'll convert that to scientific notation by just moving the decimal point over one space and make that 1.612. And since we move that over one space, we're really multiplying. We're really uh, multiplying by 10 to the first power because we reduce the coefficient. We have to increase the exponent by one, and then we multi So we're multiplying that by 10 to the first power, and we're multiplying by 10 to the tenth power. So we bring that down. So since this is 10 to the first power times 10 to the tenth power, we can add those two together and get add the exponents at least together, and that'll give us 10 to the eleventh power. So we'll have 1.612 times 10 to the eleventh power, and that is in scientific notation. So now we don't have to worry anymore about our, our answer not being in scientific notation. So we haven't multiplied in a long time. So check my video if you forgot how to do it. So 1.612 times 10 to the 11th power. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. If you understand, great. If you're not, sure, write down your questions and we'll talk about it tomorrow in class. So remember, if you need help with your homework, there's Dollar Teacher Homework Helpline. 212-777-3380, Monday to Thursday from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Don't forget to watch our show, Math Time, on Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cable Vision, Channel 15. You can watch my study videos. Check out some of the other videos that I referenced on YouTube. My channel name is Dan Robinson. Check out our latest release, PKMS Math Prep 16. You can tweet me at DRobMath1. So good luck on your test, and I hope you do well. I hope you got something out of the video, and I'll be looking forward to making more study videos next year. Bye-bye.